frankly, our journey was so bloody hard. With, you know, sort of infinite access to resources, a uh, tremendous amount of attention to it, and it was still hard. The Roberts are like many families that come to us. When families walk through the door um, of the experimental education unit, a lot of times they've been to four or five different agencies. They've made dozens of phone calls to different specialists. They've had assessments from several different uh, experts in the field. And a lot of times they're overwhelmed. What happened with us was, uh, you know, the parent's journey of trying to figure out what's best for their child and uh, how to help her with some social interaction, how to help her accelerate some of her learning. And it was a scavenger hunt. It turned out, incidentally, to have a lot to do with intermittent hearing loss and the need for ear tubes and things like that that, that have a lot of other uh, effects that you wouldn't know about unless you'd been through that journey. We found our way to the EEU at the University of Washington because Elise was a little delayed in her class and we said, boy, this is a smart kid. She tests out as a smart kid. We just need some new approaches to help unleash that capability. Elise was one of 18 children in the kindergarten class, um, 10 kids on the special needs spectrum and eight children as model children. Is it important for our solutions to be safe? The way that whole classroom is set up, um, there's an opportunity for parents to be behind a one-way mirror. And over the year, over Elise's kindergarten year, I've met many, many families that had children um, on the spectrum, and each and every one of them wanting the best for their child, the best to be able to help them out and to cobble together a variety of different services that were available for their children and their families. And as I listened to these families' stories, it became really clear to me that there was no really intuitive way to knit together all of the different services they were receiving for their family or their children, whether it was at the University of Washington or elsewhere in the city. I think the inspiration behind the E2C was, one, uh, more families uh, should have access to this type of information and these type of resources. You know, it really shouldn't be limited to, you know, 50 kids a year. Um, and the second is, can there be a way to help make this information available to parents? In many ways in life, when you have a child, all of a sudden you see the world through new eyes. And with having Elise at the University of Washington, I begin to see the University of Washington with new eyes. And at that moment in time, I not only saw this amazing kindergarten program at the Experimental Education Unit, but a variety of other services that were there for families um, all across campus. And when I stepped back at that moment in time and really took a good hard look, at all of the different services, it came to be um, 42 different stars that really made up this amazing constellation and network. The E2C has the potential to truly change access for families in terms of information and research in early childhood, to connect the great work that professionals are doing with the families and provide them the right information so they can really address the needs of their children. This whole desire to alleviate the stresses on a family, um, particularly with a family with a child with special needs, um, can really be solved at the University of Washington. And not only children with special needs, but if you look at our, our community at large, um, best practices are being created and drawn up and worked on every day, from research to the clinical implementation at the University of Washington. It really behooves us as a community to put those best practices to use, not only in our community, but in our state and in our nation. Our hope is that the E2C helps other parents uh, go on the same journey that we went on to find uh, the right answers for their kids. It really is about empowering uh, teachers and parents to help kids.